I hope you feel so empowered having done your very first Astro component, even though it's very simple. Now we're going to talk about styling in this module. We've already mentioned here that style tags within Astro files, they're scoped to that file. I should mention once again that the tag actually has to be present or a class or whatever it happens to be. So you could give this thing a class if you wanted to. We could call it like link or something like that. And then I could come over here and do dot link, but it's only dot links in this file, not in the slot, but actually in the file that will be referenced. So for instance, if I come over here, let's get rid of this. And now this should no longer be read, right? Because I don't have a dot link here. You might think that you could come over here and just say, hey, I know what I'll do. I'll reference, let's see, right over here. I'll have some kind of tag inside here. So let's have something with the class like this, and we'll say like, hi. And notice this is not read because it's just part of the slot. It actually has to be referenced from the file itself. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's come back out this way. So this scoped styling is really helpful. Astro actually applies like a data attribute and uses that to style it in your CSS. All right, now we're back to kind of as we started. Let's talk about some other options you've got. You could of course just use a style attribute. Now here, this could just be a string like background of black, and that will show right there. You could also use like a CSS and JS style syntax. And here we could say something like background of black. Once again, that would work. Now you can also with a class, use like a CSS module where you import some kind of style sheet and then pick off a certain class within that, like title or link or whatever it happens to be. All that is built in by default in Astro. Now, in the last several years, the rise of Tailwind and other CSS frameworks has helped people template out sites quicker. And you'll be happy to know if you're a Tailwind dev that it's really easy to get started with Astro. I'm going to come over here and go ahead and kill my dev server and use the mpx command. We'll do Astro add Tailwind. Now, you might remember I showed you the Astro config file, and this is where that comes in handy. Because what I can do is use this nice little helper that will install Tailwind for me. It's going to install all the dependencies that I need will actually generate my Tailwind config file for me. And notice it's going to update my astro.config.mjs file. It's going to update it by importing Tailwind and adding it as an integration. We'll talk about more integrations as we go, but that's how nice it is to get started with Tailwind. That's all I have to do. Hey, this is Chris from the future. Just want to jump in real quick and say a couple of things. Tailwind 4 is now out and supported by Astro. So there's just one slight change. And that is the Tailwind config file is now just a CSS file, which means you do have to import it globally. So like in a layout or something like that, just like you would any other global CSS file. And then you can do exactly what I explain in the rest of the video. Okay, back to the video. So that means I could literally come over here and just change this to like text, I don't know, 5XL. And that's a Tailwind class. And notice it just works out of the box. Of course, I've got my Tailwind config if I want to do more to it. But all this is because I've installed that one little package. The astroconfig.mjs, just like we saw in the CLI here, has added this integration. So that way I can use this throughout my project and it knows to look for it. Now, lastly, I want to talk about global styles. Now, as we've already mentioned here, this will not be global. If I come back over here, we change this back to a normal anchor link. It's only the one that's in this link component, this one that's referenced here, that will actually get our styling. However, what you can do for these style tags, if you want to, is make them global with the is global declaration. Now, as soon as I do that, notice this actually picks up the same styling. Now it's just this styling here, obviously not the class because that's to the component itself, but the style tag is now global. Now, while you can do that, that's not typically what you do for a global style sheet. So let's go ahead and get rid of this declaration right here. And I want to come over here to my base layout. Every page I'm currently using uses this. And anywhere you import a CSS file, it's global for anything in that file. And importantly, anything in the slots or anything that's referenced there. So let's come over here. And inside the SRC directory, again, because I want Astro to touch it, I'm going to create a styles directory. Now, you can name this style sheet whatever you want, but just so I remember that it's global, I typically call it global. So let's call it global.css. And perhaps here, let's just take the body. We'll make this background color something like peach buff. All right, so now we've got this here, but it's not referenced anywhere, so it's not actually working. Now, what I want to do is import this up top just relatively, so wherever it is in the project. So I'll come up. I know it's in my styles directory, and then it's my global CSS. Now, as soon as I save this, notice that both the home and the about will now take on that styling. Anywhere you import styling, that component and anything inside that component, or that's referenced, even a slot, will take on that styling. So this is typically how I use global styles. Now let's just explore that a little bit. If I come over here and get rid of it in the base layout, I go over to about and I import it over here. Now notice over here on about, it's going to have that styling, but on home it will not. Let's mix it up. Let's take it over here to our link component and you take your guess. What do you think is going to happen as soon as I import it up here? 
Well, notice it's going to be on the home. It's going to be on the about because it's been imported and both of those are used in the base layout. So therefore, they both get this style sheet as well. Anywhere you're importing your style sheet, if that component is used in any other file, it will pull in all that styling. So while technically not all imports are global, typically I think of them that way because I'm only really going to use it if I know exactly where that's going to be referenced, which for me is typically only in my layout files. Now, Astro is smart enough that even though I have two links here, right? A link here, and let's actually create one more link, right? So both of these links, it's only going to reference that style sheet once. It won't pull it in two times. In fact, I can see that if I come over here and do npm run build. Let's come up to my dist, and I've got my index right here. And notice that I've got this one style sheet showing right here. This underscore aster shows me this one CSS file, which happens to contain all my Tailwind classes, but it also contains the, the link wherever that's at right here, right? And notice, as we mentioned before, it has this data attribute for the local styles here, but the imported styles, this background color here, is on the body and it's just global. We've got one more video to look at to understand how scripting works. So far, we've understood the structure of an Astro project, the structure of an Astro page, how slots and props work. We've understood styling. Now it's time to understand how to work with JavaScript in Astro. I trust you enjoyed that video. I'll remind you that this whole playlist is a sneak peek of module one for my course, learnastro.dev. If you're interested in getting that course at a discount, check out the link below. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.